This is going to take me a while to actually finish, probably. Eh. What's up, YouTube? Griever here, and yeah, I'm gonna be finally working on this along with all of this, too, because this is going to be the customization of my Strifle kit, and if you haven't seen it, uh, if you want to go check out my review of the Phonedemic Strifle kit, uh, link will be, I think, in this corner or this corner, I don't know. It's in one of the corners, whichever the one pops up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be working on my Strifle, and I already have the general idea of what I want my Strifle to look like, because it's fairly basic, but my stock is over there because that's already painted, and I just have like one small part that I got to kind of fix up on it, but I still have to do all the rest of it, so that's going to definitely be fun. But, as I said in the beginning of this, this is probably going to take me a while because this is going to be a lot of sanding, so I'm just going to get started on that. Okay, so we've already, I've already started taking stuff apart. Um, I took the strife apart a, what, a few days ago just so I can see what the internals were working on, I'm working with are. But this is going to be <laughs> fun to sand all this stuff. But the general idea of what it's going to be is, for the strife, basically the mag release, rev trigger, trigger, and jam door are all going to go red. The main body is going to be per the metallic purple that I love to use. The white stripe, the handle, along with the Picatinny rail pieces on here are go and are going to go purple. Regarding the 3D printed pieces that I got from Foamdemic, the Picatinny rails are going to go uh, gray. Everything else is going to go purple, just because it's going. To, I want it to be mostly purple. On the Magnus, um, anything internal I am not painting because I absolutely refuse to paint anything that is a working internal piece, for the most part at least. So the tip is going to stay orange, or at least stay as much as it can because it looks like there is some kind of. I did get paint on it at some point, but oh well. The trigger is going to go red, the shell is going to go purple, the front's going to stay orange along with these bits here. I don't know what else I'm going to put gray on here just yet, but I'll figure that out when I figure it out, because more likely than not, since most of the handle will be covered by the purple, I may actually just do this in purple as well. So that's why I need to figure out some other place for the gray. I may just wind up leaving the slide gray at that point then. So there's that. Uh, for the retaliator barrel, uh, obviously it's going to go all purple, except I'm thinking of leaving the middle ridge here, the uh, vinyl gray, because the color scheme I'm going with is my metallic purple lacquer, my charcoal gray vinyl dye and red vinyl dye for anything red. Oh, and the internal barrel, uh, I will block off the ends here so no paint goes into the barrel, but the barrel itself is going to go red. Uh, just because it's the, I like to do the accents in red, uh, the secondary gray and the main uh, purple, if you haven't been able to tell from my previous videos. But if you're new here, please go check out some of my other uh, paint job and mod videos because honestly, I, I enjoy doing them. So, and I hope you enjoy watching them. So, that's the general scheme of what we're going to go with. So, I got some 220 sandpaper here that I'm going to start working on. I then got somewhere here, uh, 400. I, I have my little sanding drawer here. So, I have uh, 400 sanding blocks. I have scouring pads. I got the works here. So, but I don't think you want to see me sitting here sanding for probably hours. Um, so I'm just going to get to work on this. I'm also going to be doing things in sections. So first thing I'm going to start is I'm going to start on the easy stuff, which is the 3D printed stuff and the retaliator barrel. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, I have a dust mask. I'm going to get started. So I'll see you in a few moments, but <laughs> it's going to take me a while. Ok, 
Okay, so painting update right now is I have primer on all the pieces that I was able to get done today, which is the retaliator barrel and the 3D printed pieces. It took me about an hour to an hour and a half to really sand everything. Uh, the retaliator barrel really didn't get too much. I just tried to sand off all the blue. Uh, the 3D printed parts took more of the sanding. And I did that with 220 and then I went over it again with a, four, with a 400 just to try and smooth everything out. The 3D printed parts, I uh, put a filler primer on, which is why they're a lighter gray. The retaliative barrel and the Picatinny rails, those got the uh, charcoal gray vinyl dye. And the red ba and the barrel, I just did red vinyl dye. Now, if you're wondering what those things on the ends of the barrel are, is I just put some uh, painter's tape around some darts and just shoved them in the ends, just so I didn't get any paint in the barrels itself. I have to tape off the pieces for the retaliative barrel that I'm going to keep gray, and then pretty much everything will be ready for the metallic purple, or at least those pieces will be. The Picatinny rails are going to stay the charcoal gray, so those are getting repainted and the barrel's basically done. So those pieces will get finished off tomorrow. Uh, it's kind of dark already and I really don't, I really never liked painting in the dark. So I'll take care of those pieces tomorrow and then I'll probably move on to, I will say probably the Magnus next. I think I'm going to leave the Strife for last in this. So plus I also kind of need more red vinyl dye. <laughs> My, can kind of died on me but at least I was able to get the barrel done so but you'll see the those pieces finished up next where I'm going to be working on them tomorrow but you know movie magic and editing so I'll see you in a moment okay so we're back and well, I'm back but you didn't really go anywhere unless you did but if you did welcome back anyway so I'm on to now painting the 3d printed parts the filler primer did a very nice job and filled everything in very beautifully. The charcoal gray vinyl dye went on very nice and I've just taped off this uh, middle section of the retaliator barrel on both sides. Uh, those are going to stay the gray and the rest, these pieces and this are now going to get the metallic purple lacquer and we'll get that put on and then at that point, the barrel and 3D printed pieces will be done. And then I'm probably going to move on to the Magnus after that. So let's go get these painted up. Okay, so the barrel and the 3D printed pieces are painted and basically done. Uh, it's time to move on to the next part, the Magnus. So I'm going to strip this one down. I'll do it on my camera because it's been a while since I've done it. Um, unless you want to go check out my uh, big O project, which I had done a while ago, which was basically, well, paint, well, I stripped it down to paint it, but I'm not really gonna do any mods to this, but you can at least see me break it down, so. Magnus is stripped. I'm going to get to start sanding this, which is the boring stuff, and you'll see it when I either made progress on it or my battery is charged because I left it plugged in, but I don't know why it barely charged the battery. So I have a charger coming. Hopefully that will get here before this um, video is done, but you know, it is what it is. So going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm, I actually don't even know what day this is anymore. All I know is I've been sanding a lot. Uh, the Magnus is coming along really nicely. I'm working on the last half of it now. I've actually already done the 400 on the slide and I did a 400 partial dry sand, but mostly a 400 wet sand on this. 
And I have to say, this is uh, this is smooth as butter. Uh, it came out really, really good. I also did the same on the trigger. And truth be told, you can't even really see any sanding marks on this whatsoever, which I'm very happy with. I have this side completely done with 200. I do have to go over it with the 400, but I want to do that as I spill water all over the place. I want to do that after I get this side done. So it's getting there. It's still going to take me a while to sand, but it's going to get done. And when it does, it's going to hopefully look really, really good. Uh, once this is done sanding and I get the 400 on both of these, I'll wipe them down with some 70% rubbing alcohol and then just make sure I get out all of the dust because I can still see some in the cracks on that one. Then I'll do the uh, charcoal gray vinyl dye on this and then tape off and see what I want to make purple and what I want to keep the gray. So we'll figure that out when we get to it. Okay, so this is now completely sanded. Um, all the sanding I've done, even though I know I really haven't been doing it on camera, has been actually hand sanding. And it's been a huge pain in the ass. But it has honestly so been worth it. Because this is honestly just... It looks really good and it feels so smooth. Like, there's no rough patches from sanding it whatsoever. What I'm going to do is, these springs that are in here, I'm actually going to tape these off just so the paint and vinyl dye doesn't really mess with that too much. If I get vinyl dye on the inside, I'm not worried about it. All of the actual moving components are not in here, so it's fine. So, I'm just going to get this taped off and then get started painting on uh, this now. Okay, so all of the priming on the Magnus is done, and I gotta say it all came out really nice. The trigger is also done, and it looks really, really good. So that can get reinstalled into the internals, and I can get that all squared away. I finally decided what I'm going to do with the Magnus itself. So, I already have this one all taped off, but to show you a little bit more he on here, what I'm going to do is, I have to also trim up the tape on this as well, but anyway, what I'm going to do is, since this is going to be the part that attaches to the uh, 3D printed part, I'm going to actually leave this purple, and it actually does have a very nice break line that I think it's going to look, I can get it nice and sharp and it's going to look really good. The slide, since this is going to be where the actual slide just keeps going on and off, I'm not going to bother painting it. I'm going to leave it the primed gray charcoal vinyl dye. And really just, I mean, it should hold up, but if it doesn't and it just starts does start scratching away and all, it's going to scratch to right, so it's going to look fine either way. At least I think it will. But the slide itself is also going to go purple. And also it'll be a nice little stacked color because on the barrel I have it mostly purple with the gray stripe, then the purple piece, uh, the purple 3D printed part, and then on here it's going to go gray, purple, gray, purple. So I think that's going to actually look really good. Uh, however, I'm not going to be able to paint it tonight because it's getting dark and I really don't like painting in the dark. And yeah, so that's it. So I'll see you in a moment, but I... You know the drill. I gotta wait till tomorrow for this. So, you'll see me in another shirt. And oh, by the way, the reason I'm wearing this one is because I finally got to see Godzilla vs. Kong. By the way, very good movie. I'd have to say, probably, I don't know if it would say it's the best of the Legendary series, but it was really good. I, I will say that as a Godzilla fan, it was good. But enough of that rant. I'll see you in a minute to start painting on this. Okay, so, um,. Yeah, it's the next day, and I'm ready to put the purple on this. This way I can get the Magnus put back together, and all I have to worry about is the Strife. And it's sort of kind of raining a little bit, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway, and let's see how this hopefully does not turn out god-awful terrible. Okay. 
Okay, so I just went to go put the second coat of lacquer onto the Magnus pieces and a very odd thing happened in that the pieces were foggy and I know that can happen with gloss paints and all if it's too humid or it's too cold or this or that and all that stuff but the only thing is though it doesn't feel like it met those conditions like it does not feel very humid even though it was raining earlier it doesn't feel very humid, and it's not cold. It's still warm enough, at least I feel, in order to paint. So, I have no idea what actually happened to the paint, but I did put a second coat on them off-camera, just so hopefully it fixes it. And after I sprayed it, I brought it right back into the shop and just have them sitting here drying. So, hopefully that will fix the issue. If not, I may just have to do a third kind of light coat to balance it out once the weather breaks which unfortunately is not going to possibly be for a few days but hopefully this fixes it and i'll be able to finish this off now and then all i have to do is worry about getting the strife done and then reassembly and this will be completed so we'll have to see what happens to it okay so it's a few days later and i was able to get a new or at least one more coat of the purple lacquer onto the Magnus, and it came, it, it fixed it. It came out so nice. It's got that beautiful shimmer that it's supposed to have, along with the matte of the gray, and oh man, I honestly, this just looks really nice. It really does. I'm very happy with it as I spit all over it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it, so I'm just going to quick put together this, and all that's left is the stripe. Um, I have already, I don't even know if you can hear me at this point, but I have already started to sand it and work on it. And honestly, I'm in no rush because I wound up actually putting in a small order to out of darts. No, it's not for anything to uh, zhuzh up the motors or anything like that. I basically just ordered wiring, the really sweet uh, metal trigger for it a thumb screw for the battery door and I ordered something else and for some reason I can't remember what the hell it was oh uh, the extended uh, magazine trigger that's it so yeah I got those coming to me those will be here this Friday and I'm supposed to have crap weather the rest of the week so I'll be able to finish sanding that <laughs> And then uh, start figuring out how I'm going to wire the the strife uh, up back up, and yeah, and then I'll get started painting on that. Obviously, I'm not going to wire it up before I paint it, but you, you you know where I'm going with it. But anyway, let me get the Magnus put back together, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so my Magnus is all back together now, and eight. It looks really nice. I love it. I know my idea originally for the gray didn't isn't showing as much as I was hoping because it's mainly all in the back here. But when you do prime it back, you do get that nice two-toned with the gray right underneath there. And it looks you know, beautiful. Now, I did have to make a couple of small alterations to this. Uh, namely in that... I wound up pulling every single lock that was in here because I'm a schmuck and I didn't take pictures of this before I stripped it out and forgot where everything went. Uh, so yeah, I also had to take it apart a couple of times because I kept trying to figure out why didn't the dark gate not go down again and then I realized, oh wait, there's a thing that screws on the side of the uh, priming handle. But that's besides the point. It's working now. It's good. It looks beautiful, and I can't wait to get this all together and showcase it in all of its uh, metallic-y, purple, matte, gray, red goodness. That it's, it's just. I honestly, I'm really excited at how this is all pulling together now. So I'm, I'm very, I'm very stoked. So next thing is the strife. So let's get into that now. Okay, so we've jumped ahead a bit in time, and I already have the Strife sanded, and it's already got the gray vinyl dye on it, which is putting me ahead of the game because this is taking quite some time. But 
I've already taped off the door that will that's what's going to stay gray and that's what's going to get the uh, purple on it. Now the body of the blaster is going to be mostly purple. I am going to have the gray accent great accents why I can't speak today but I've already started on this one what I'm gonna do is obviously that's gonna stay and then this center strip here is going to actually stay gray as well along with the handle and this part of the magwell the rest of it's going to get purple on this side um, I'm not gonna go as crazy just because it's going to have, you know, the majority of the battery door is going to have the gray on it. So the handle will stay gray. And this portion of the magazine well, again. Uh, the only other thing I'm going to do on here is I'm actually going to tape off the Strife logo itself. And then I'm going to actually do, um, I'm going to put the white back on the lettering of the Strife. Or maybe another color. I have not yet decided, but... Yeah, this side isn't going to get as much because the battery door is going to have most of the gray that I want on it. And also, just to make sure it matches, the handle and this are going to stay gray. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be on that. And you'll see me painting it up. I really doubt you want to see me taping things off, but maybe I'll keep it rolling and do that. But more likely than not, I'm not just because it's less for me <laughs> to edit. And also, I don't know how interested you guys would be in my taping methods. If you are, leave me a comment down below, and maybe I'll do a, another uh, painting tutorial updated with some more techniques that I use and such. So, I'm going to get this taped off, and you'll see me painting it in a moment. Alright, so, my strife is now done. I've, quote-unquote rewired it uh, using some 18 gauge wire that I purchased from Out of Darts along with a thumb screw for the battery tray, this wonderful red metal trigger from Worker and also this Worker uh, extended mag release. No, this does not actually come in red. I just vinyl dyed it red and usually when you are in, when you do the red vinyl dye on orange, it comes out really nice and as long as everything is happy, it looks like a stock color, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I did not film the actual rewiring uh, portion of this because one, I've never actually done this before. I did not know if it was going to take me, you know, 10 minutes or three hours. And honestly, I didn't want a huge failure cut on video. So there's that. But I got everything done in maybe give or take about 30 minutes, 40, 40 ish or so after I figured out the hose down. Everything is wired uh, properly and it does work, which you will see once I get everything all put back together. Now, I do want to say big thanks to Captain Xavier for making that wonderful Strife re rewiring tutorial because I've had that playing nonstop. Uh, for the past couple of uh, days of building this in the shop, just so I can definitely get into the mindset of rewiring things. I know the Strife is the simplest thing out there, but seeing as I've never done any rewiring, I was, honest to God, very nervous. My soldering, by the way, sucks, and I will need to practice it, but it works, because right? I've tested it out already. So the last thing I'm going to do is I just got to button this up, finish taking off the uh, painter's tape, and then it'll be reassembly of the strifle, and I'll show you it completed and do a small little firing demo. So see you in a minute. Okay, so my strifle is complete, and I am so, so happy with it. This thing looks so freaking beautiful. I just, I, I'm speechless. It came out better than I had expected. The purple lacquer looks so nice on it, like it always does, especially with the gray vinyl dye, and the red accents are just, they're so good. Now, I know this may look dark. This is why I left so much orange on it. Like, 
the front tip of the Retaliator barrel and the front tip of the Magnus, I left orange. All of this stuff, I could have red vinyl dyed it, but I didn't. One, because I figured it would have scraped off. But two, I wanted to keep that orange on there as well. Also, just as a note, any magazines that this, or clipazines that this thing uses will be orange as well. So my backup mags and any other mags, whether it be these wonderful little banana 10 rounds or my 18 round clips are all going to be orange. Just so that there is that. Um, but yeah, the everything came out really neat and really beautiful. There are a couple of things that I do need to kind of tweak and fix up on this. One being this trigger. The worker metal trigger works very nicely, but every once in a while it doesn't go back quite all the way in order to actually push the dart into the motor cage. I think it's just a matter of either I have to break it in or I may have to open it up, which I really don't want to because it's a pain to reopen. Um, and just put like a little bit of silicone grease in where uh, the slide mechanism is just to kind of help that out. The Bololo style uh, rev trigger works wonderfully. However, it does stick a little bit. I think that is just a matter of breaking it in. Uh, this thumb screw is a godsend and I'm so glad I got it. The extended mag release works wonderfully. It's a thing of beauty and it does come with its own spring which I did wind up using because the other one did work but I figured if it came with a spring I might as well use it. The only other thing I gotta uh, keep in mind when using this is the Magnus. Now I kept the original slide on here because I liked this portion of it because this fits my hand perfectly and it's a perfect grip for it. So whenever I'm shouldering it, even though I'm left-handed, this is backwards, but if I'm shouldering it, it, it gives a perfect, perfect hold to it. Now, when I need to load it or um, prime it, I have to remember I can only hold the front of it because if I hold it too far back, it winds up jamming. So that's really it, but let's just do a quick firing demonstration to show that this is working. So I have a uh, dart catcher down at the end of my garage after all these years believe me my wife is extremely happy I have that so hopefully darts will not be all over the back of the uh, garage and also you know to commemorate my first ever rewiring of a nerf blaster I mean you know let's just get to it And there you have it. All 10 darts, no problems feeding. Three rounds out of the Magnus, no problems feeding. So that's going to be it for this video. So as always, if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how you think my Strifle came out and have you ever built one? You know, again, let me know in the comments down below. I love reading them. Oh, and don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. So, again, thank you all for joining me. I'll see you guys next time. Later.